I'm here to argue for going cataphracts against Aztecs in 1v1 as Byzantines. I set up some unit tests to show just how strong Byzantine cataphracts are in the Castle Age. These tests are in the context of Byzantines versus Aztecs in 1v1, so keep that in mind. The first test is 20 Castle Age cataphracts versus 20 Castle Age pikes and 40 Castle Age eagle warriors. This means that they have full upgrades in the Castle Age, so plus 2 armor and plus 2 attack. You can see the resource cost of the units on the screen. The cost of 20 cataphracts is roughly equal to the 40 eagle warriors, so the pikemen are really just there to give the cataphracts a challenge, since cataphracts punch way above their weight class. I ran this test 5 times, and the one that I included in this video was the worst fight. Usually there would be between 7 and 10 cataphracts left, whereas this fight, they only had 2 left. You can see the value that you can get out of these units though. Of course, if your opponent goes monks, even one conversion turns this fight into a victory for the Aztecs player. This is why adding skirmishers to deal with monks and archers is important. These next few tests are going to see how Byzantine knights and cataphracts deal with different number of infantry units throughout the late Castle Age and post-Imperial Age. These tests include fights versus 1, 2, 3, and 4 of each of the 3 infantry units that Aztecs can build. Here we can see how Castle Age knights fare against Castle Age infantry. They're pretty bad, actually. They only managed to take two longswordsmen on their own, though they won 1v1 versus all of the three infantry units. Next up, let's see how the cataphracts work with the same upgrades. Keep in mind that cataphracts cost 10 more food than knights, so they should be slightly stronger anyways. We can see that they're actually much stronger versus infantry. They got through all of the 2v1s and even beat eagle warriors 3v1. So what about in post-imp? Let's take a look at the paladin first. We can see that just like the knights, they get destroyed when facing multiple units. They didn't even manage to beat the two champions this time. So, how about post-imp cataphracts? The difference is clear. Cataphracts destroy infantry. They win easily versus four pikemen, and almost win versus four elite eagle warriors. They do get owned by four champions, though. There are a few contributing factors to this result. Firstly, the cataphract has some bonuses that really help them out against infantry. Unlike other cavalry units, the cataphract negates 12 bonus damage from pikemen, 16 for elite. This means that instead of dealing 22 bonus damage, the pikemen only deals 10 or 6 bonus damage. Second, the cataphract has plus 9 bonus damage versus infantry, plus 12 for the elite. This allows them to dish out 20 damage in the castle age, and 26 damage in imperial age. In castle age, cataphracts 4 shot all of the 3 infantry. If the Aztec player doesn't have plus 2 armor, however, they actually 3 shot the pikemen and the eagle warriors. In Imperial Age, cataphracts 3 shot champions and elite eagle warriors, and they actually 2 shot pikemen. In addition to this, the trample damage brings some of the eagle warriors and champs down to 2 shot range, so the cataphracts actually get stronger in bigger battles. Let's just look at a few more unit tests to see how the cataphract performs in various scenarios versus elite eagle warriors. The first test is 20 Castle Age Cataphracts versus 40 Elite Eagle Warriors without Garland Wars, but with Plate Mail and Blast Furnace. You can see that even if the Aztec player gets to the Imperial Age faster and gets Blacksmith upgrades along with the Elite Eagle Warrior, you can still take the fight with Castle Age Cataphracts. Of course, if you're on the way to Imperial Age, it might be best to wait for your own upgrades before engaging. The Castle Age Cataphracts still win here with 6 units left. Next up, we have Castle Age Cataphracts versus post imp Elite Eagle Warriors. This means that they now have Garland Wars. Honestly, if you're this behind in tech, you're probably dead anyways. The Elite Eagle Warriors come out on top with about 16 units remaining. If you lose your Castle Age army at this point, you should probably GG, because the game's been over for a while. This next test is for Elite Cataphracts without Plate Barding Armor versus post imp Eagles. You can see that just by getting the Elite upgrade, the battle swings heavily in the favor of the Cataphracts. Since the Elite upgrade takes 50 seconds to research, and Plate Barding Armor takes 75 seconds, there's a chance you'll want to engage before the armor kicks in. The trade will still be really good without the armor. Next up is with the Plate Barding Armor, but still no Logistica. There end up being 14 Cataphracts left versus the 11 from the previous test. At this point, you're probably in a really good spot if you still have enough castles to produce Cataphract. And finally, we get to fully upgraded cataphract versus fully upgraded eagle warriors. It's no contest. The cataphracts only lose one unit. Alright, I'll be testing out going cataphracts on the ladder over the next few days, so come check out my stream sometime. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the ladder.